for reading today, I'm going to read a story that is called When I Grow Up. So I know that you're only four and five years old, but it's honestly never too early to start thinking about what you want to be when you grow up. If you don't know, that's totally okay. And if you change your mind, it's totally okay. I know I've changed my mind a million times from when I was about your age to when now, but I know things, I think always in the back of my mind, I really did know I want to be a teacher and now here I am all grown up and I get to be your teacher, how lucky. So for today, I'm gonna to read you the story and then I would like you to draw a picture and write a little sentence about what you want to be when you grow up. All right, so here's the story for today. When I Grow Up by Al Yankovic and illustrated by Wes Hargis. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon, there in Mrs. Crump's class, and Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject, so special to me, was when I grow up, what am I going to be? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let all those thoughts out. So when Mrs. Crump said, who's ready to share? You can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as they'd go and I bounced up and down. And then what do you know? Well, Mrs. Crump picked me, yes, me to go first. Oh, I was so happy I thought I could burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my voice for a future vocation. <clears throat> Esteemed friends and colleagues, and dear Mrs. Crump, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will cr go crazy for my cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni, sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna, surrounded by kamquats and candid pig's feet topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops. Bon appetit. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies au gratin. My kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservation 12 years in advance. There is no doubt it, about it. I am certain, you see, a world-renowned chef is what I am going to be. That's very nice, Billy, says sweet. Um, Mrs. Crump? Who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, because I'm just getting started. See, maybe instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt that I like. Holy moly, I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. Then jump. I mean ooze, through a huge ring of fire and crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire, then finish by writing my name with their tails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. Or else, maybe I'll be a lathe operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator which fine-tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade that's directly beneath the main radial sockets inside cooling systems on X-14 rockets. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? Say, here's an idea, perhaps just for laughs, I might make my living by milking giraffes. Oh, it's so cliche to get milk from a cow, and I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. What? Milking giraffes, Mrs. Crump said? Oh, please. I countered, how else could you make giraffe cheese? Now don't interrupt me. 
I'm not through, really through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Because maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown, or a movie director, or maybe a professional pickle inspector, or a big sumo wrestler, or hutch fund investor, or a smelly pit sniffing deodorant tester? Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission, or else a foot model, or a friendly mortician or a waiter, or a skater, or a master debater, or a dinosaur dusting museum curator, or a TV repairman, or a sidewalk sign waver, or a part-time assistant tarantula shaver. And that's about when Mrs. Crump said, Now, Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which one of those things are you going to choose? I shuffled around and I looked at my shoes. And finally I said, my great grandfather Bob's been a whole lot of things and had a whole bunch of jobs. A butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, and a bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103 and he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly I'm hoping You'll cut me some slack if I leave my options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might even have time to do all of those things. And just like that, the bell rang and we all went to lunch and I was sipping my pineapple punch. I pondered professions that I'd like to enter like brave firefighter or crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe now, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher like dear Mrs. Crump. The end. All right, I absolutely love that story because it has such a powerful message. I know you guys are only young, but it is okay to start thinking about what you wanna be when you grow up, but just like Billy, you're gonna change your mind and you might not be sure. So one day you might wanna be a doctor, one day you might wanna be a nurse, another you wanna be a snail trainer or a construction worker, or who knows what the future holds for you. But for today, I would like you to think about maybe something, and maybe it's one of Billy's adventures, or maybe it's a profession you already have thought about that you want to be. Write me a little sentence about it, draw a picture, and share it with someone in your family. And remember, it's okay not to know, and it's going to change, and you maybe are going to have a bunch of different things that you do in life, and that's totally okay, and I'm so excited to see what your futures hold for you. I miss you all so much. I hope you enjoyed the story today, and have fun with the reading assignment. Bye!